Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion in Fundamentals of Surveying. We are still talking about traversing and traverse measurement. We are now on the third method of traversing and this method is called an angle to the right traverse. Okay, so what is an angle to the right traverse? So angles are measured clockwise from the back side of the back line to a forward line. These angles may lie anywhere between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Okay, let us take a look at the figure to the right. Okay, uh, you are actually uh, first you need to come up with line AB and then you set up your instrument at point B here. The angle to the right traverse is an angle that is clockwise, okay? From the back line AB, so from BA, galing dito, papunta sa forward line BC. Okay, so you see that? Hindi pwede dito, hindi ito angle to the right because uh, this is counterclockwise, okay? So it should be clockwise from the previous line to the next line. Okay, back line to the forward line. Okay, that's your angle to the right. Okay, for a close traverse, the sum of the angles to the right should be n plus 2 times 180 degrees if the traverse proceeds in a clockwise direction. Okay, so an angle that is clockwise in nature, ibig sabihin, you go from A, pag ganito yung ikot ng traversing mo. Ano? Okay? A, B, C, D, E. Okay? Otherwise, kung pabaliktad ka, kung counterclockwise ka from A, E, D, C, B, ganon, uh, this rule does not apply. Itong N plus 2 times 100. Instead, ang mangyayari niyan, magiging N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Okay, this is actually our uh, formula for the sum of the interior angles. Okay, kasi kapag ganun, kapag naging uh, counterclockwise yung traversing natin, traverse direction natin, actually ang, ang, ang interior angle tsaka yung angle to the right parehas na. Okay, kaya parehas na yung magiging formula natin na N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Okay, I hope you get that one. And uh, to illustrate this kind of traverse, let us solve a problem. Okay, so a five-sided close traverse proceeds in a clockwise direction, and the angle to the right at each station were observed as follows. So we have alpha A, alpha B, alpha C, alpha D, and alpha E given in the. Uh, as you can see here in the slide and then uh, let us determine the error of closure and adjust the observed values on the assumption that the error is the same for each angle tabulate values accordingly okay so the geometric property of an angle to the right traverse that is measured or proceeds clockwise direction the sum of the angle to the right should be n plus 2 times 180 degrees right so here uh, we need to get the two sums okay the first sum is uh, the the sum of these given angles okay the sum of this uh, uh, let us designate it as sum one so basically we just add these given angles here so, alpha A plus alpha B plus alpha C plus alpha D. Okay, so... Okay, the sum is equal to 1,259 degrees 55 minutes. Okay, so we need to compare this sum to the theoretical sum of a... As is stated in the previous slide, that the sum should be equal to n plus 2 times 180 degrees. We designate this as sum 2. Okay? So, n plus 2 
times 180 degrees. A N is equal to 5 because there are 5 given in, uh, angles. Okay, so that's 5 plus 2 times 180 degrees. That's 7 times 180 and we should come up with 1260 degrees. Okay. As you can see, the sum 1 and sum 2 are not the same. This means that we have an error of closure. Okay, so the error is just the difference between sum 1 and sum 2. Okay, so the error is equal to, okay, uh, itong n plus 2 times 180 degrees dapat yung mauna because we need to uh, be very careful with our sign later on, okay? We, uh, hindi absolute value ito, so mauna yung theoretical itong 1260 degrees minus 1259 degrees 55 minutes okay so pwedeng maging negative ito pwedeng maging positive but in this case we have a positive error which is 0 degrees 0 05 minutes okay so we have 0 05 minutes error of closure okay etong error of closure na to is uh equally divided dito sa limang observed angles natin because of the assumption that the error is the same for each angle okay so therefore our correction our correction is 0 5 minutes divided by 5 angles because we have five measured angles there so we have 0 1 0 1 minute okay so since this is a positive error we have a positive correction as well. So, positive 0, 0,1 degree. I mean, 0, 0,1 minute. Okay? So, uh, we need to add this correction to each of the given angles there. Okay? So, to come up with the adjusted observed angles. Okay? So, adjusted angles. Okay, so now we write the adjusted angles here. So since our designation is... Uh, we have alpha A... Uh, so we have alpha A prime. This is the angle to the right at vertex A. So we have the alpha A, the observed, which is 240 degrees, uh, 30 minutes. And we need to add the correction of 0, 1 minute. Okay, so we come up with 240 degrees, 31 minutes. Okay, we do the same for alpha B prime until alpha E prime. We need to add 0, 1 minute to each of these ones. So we come up with alpha B prime to be 238 degrees, 16 minutes. For alpha C prime, uh, that's 289, 53 plus 0, 1. So that's 289, 54. For alpha D prime, the original observe is 220.04. We add one minute, so that's 220.05 minute. Okay, and finally for alpha E prime, 271.13 plus one, we have 271.14. Okay, and we can check if the sum of these adjusted angles is equal to 360 degrees. You can check by getting the sum and you you should come up with 1260 degrees and that is equal to the theoretical sum which is n plus 2 times 180 degrees okay so you should come up with the correct sum over there for you to conclude that the adjusted angle is now correct okay and finally let us tabulate our solution So 
So this is now the tabulated result. Okay, so the first, we have four columns. In the first column, we have your stations. The observed angle to the right, this is the given, the correction. We need to add zero one minute to every angle. And then the adjusted angle, that should be equal. The sum should be equal to N plus two times 180 degrees. Okay, so that's it for angle to the right traverse. Uh, if you have any questions, do not forget uh, we have the, our Facebook group. You can ask, you can email me, or you can comment on this video. So see you in our next lesson.